Eldrick! Eldrick, wherefore art thou, Eldrick? I was running around... Ooh, excuse me right there. Trying to put together my computer stuff. But my uh, new hard drive and memory came in the mail today. And the memory installed in, like, two... Ow. Two minutes. It took no time at all. Pull the side of the case off, stick the memory in, and you're done. Okay. This one looks like we need the push button thingy to get in there. Yeah, you're dead too. And this door. Let's go into the other door first. And, uh, but I bought my hard drive bare, which means uh, it didn't come with any of the cables or screws or anything that I need. And so I went to Best Buy to buy a SATA cable. Yay! And then uh, I went to a hardware store to get some screws, but I bought the wrong screws. I bought an 8 seconds one inch screw, and it looks like I need a 6 seconds one inch screw. Ha, huh, that's cool. It turns the ladder on. Ah! I don't want to. Well, I'll kill you. I hate you anyway. Because it doesn't look like I could fall through the floor anywhere, so I don't see where you would be any use at all to me. Ooh, hey, look at that. I got a little map that tells me where I am. I'm over here, where that little red dot is. So I need to go to the hardware store tomorrow and buy new screws. Okay, do I want to... I'm going to take the door first. Door. Ah! And then... Anything else I needed to do? I don't remember. I had... I bought some soda the other day. I have, uh... Grapefruit and cherry soda. Okay, here's another door where we're going to need to think. Can I bust through here? No, no. Let's try running fast and busting through. Ah, Nope, not working. Okay, back through here. So now, I need to turn this ladder on. Whoa, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Get over here. Ugh. Climb. Ugh, dang it. I'm gonna fall all the way through. Come on, hit that button. Run past that zone. No, don't hit that button. Hit the other button. Ha! Ah, you didn't zombify me. There's a cool zombie game on Newgrounds right now, but I, I've played it a couple times. But I don't think I'm going to record a game of it, because it's over way too quick. You get 60 seconds total. And even though it breaks it up between rounds, it's uh, not enough time for a video of any substance. Now let's go through this door. Ow! Didn't jump high enough. Doom. I have a word I'm supposed to use. I think I know exactly how Tioman wants me to use his word, but I don't know if I'm yet going to give him the satisfaction. Um, Ad Kit wants a recipe. What about you? Can I bust through to you? No, no, no. And unfortunately, the two, my two favorite foods, because he asked for my favorite food recipe. This is the door I came out of, so there's two doors here. Let's take this one first. Um, my two favorite foods... I'm not a... How... How am I supposed to get up there? Ugh, that didn't work. Ugh. No? What if I pick you up and throw you at it? Uh, also did not work. Invisible blocks, like Mario Brothers? See, this gives... I think that there's some significance here, except nothing happens. Well, isn't that a pickle? How do I get up there? Do I get these guys back when I come in? Yeah, here's him. Ugh. Bouncing off of him doesn't give me enough... Ooh. Ow. Hey. Jerk. Ugh. 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 Boom. No, still not enough height. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, I was saying something about my two favorite recipes not being available for sharing. Um, there's only one person outside of my family who knows one of those recipes, and that was my girlfriend in college. She was allowed to have one of them. Oh, outside. This part reminds me of uh, Spirited Away by Hayao Miyazaki. 
where the girl's on the outside. That looked like I took the ghost up with me. Hey, warp zones! Who doesn't love warp zones? Ah! That's a careful jump right there. Ugh. And I'm gonna need you for something, so get over here. Uh, do you warp? No, but if you fall in there, I warp. What's over on this side? Hey, Hammer Brother, come here. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a pain, I can already tell. I need you to fall the other way, stupid. Thank you. Ah, get up there, get over there. Come here. Ah, no. Ugh, thank you. Now, just to toss you lightly. Hit me so that I mayest fall up. Ugh. And I can't... Okay, so I am gonna need the brother. The other dude. Over here. Ugh, and I really need to start talking about this recipe. Because it's not short. Oh. Teleport again. Ah, I gotta remember to duck there. So there's this food called bigus, and it is a Polish stew called hunter's stew in English. And the word bigus in Polish means trouble or confusion or other such uh, feelings. Okay, come here and give me an apple. And it's basically just a whole bunch of crap all combined together into one pot of stew. And this is not the ingredient from my family, because my family actually doesn't make bigos. Uh, but it is a, a recipe for bigos. It's two pounds of sauerkraut, washed and drained. Two pounds of white cabbage, shredded. One pound of kielbasa, which is Polish sausage. Ow. Die. Um, cut into half-inch pieces. Boom! Ow! Hey, I'm, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! And I'm gonna need to do that again. Half a pound of smoked ham, cubed. Half a pound of smoked pork, cubed. Uh, half a pound of bacon, chopped. And I'm gonna need to do a little bit better than that. Which means I'm gonna have to start off running the other way. Half a pound of chopped bacon. Half a pound of cubed beef or venison. And, uh... You get the idea that Poland is known for... Ah! Thank you, I needed that. Known for its pigs. Two ounces of dried mushrooms. Four chopped pitted prunes. Two apples cored and cubed. One tomato cubed. How do I... I can't get out of there, so I'm gonna have to go this way. One uh, tomato cubed. One onion diced. Bonk. Hey, cool, it makes stairs. And now I am here, so let's go. I haven't found the button yet. Uh, two minced garlic. Two cloves of minced garlic. Ow. One teaspoon of allspice. I don't know if they have allspice in Sweden. And two bay leaves. And one tablespoon of peppercorns. All right, you simmer the cabbage until soft. It usually takes half an hour to an hour and drain. And you cook the bacon and set it aside, preserving the fat. Did I already, was I already in here? Um, in the bacon fat, saute the onions and the garlic and brown the remaining meat, uh, except for the Polish sausage. Combine all the ingredients in a pot and cook in a slow cooker set on low for five to ten hours on the stove. Uh, for five to ten hours. Then on the stove, cook briefly on medium and simmer for two to three hours. Refrigerate any leftovers for uh, reheating. And like I said, it actually tastes better when you reheat it. I don't know why, but it does. I love mine cold, though. You can freeze it, too. Um, it's a traditional Polish winter dish, uh, eaten around the second day of Christmas, uh, traditionally. But the stuff keeps like crazy over the winter, and like I said, it tastes better each time you reheat it. Alright, let's go in that other door. And so, that's fine. 
I don't know if any of that made any sense because I was trying to read the recipe um, in, while I was playing, and that's why I was sucking so much. Uh, what is the purpose of this button? I get this heart, and then what? Nothing. And if I jump, I'll fall through the floor. Oh! Wait a sec. I need to get back up there. I'll have to get back up there another time. I'm gonna have to come over here. That's how we get that that jewel piece. If only I remembered how we get up there. And I don't have that much time left in the video. Ah, yes, through here. Through here. And then, oop, right here. And upstairs. Come on. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna stop here. The video's gonna have to be truncated. Alright, goodbye.